Hey everybody, Amanda and Mr. Ozzy is here today. Say hi. Say hi. Okay, so today is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be all about Oz. Uh, this is very odd. I don't do this a lot and I'm not going to do this a lot. But this is going to be a review day only because we went to the Great Smoky Mountains on Saturday. And if we go somewhere or eat somewhere or find a new place and we feel like it's worthy of a review or that our followers may like to go there, may want to go there, then we will definitely review this. So, Saturday we went to Feasters on Teasters. It was so good. This has been our second time to Feasters on Teasters. And this is a new restaurant to the area, so um, it's nice. And we just wanted to let you know how good this restaurant is and that you should give it a try. Right, Oz? Say right. Good boy. So hopefully he's going to be a good boy this whole time. So sorry about this lighting. I know it's horrible, but it just kind of is what it is. We're not professionals. It's just me and Oz here, so bear with us. <laughs> we will try to do better as we grow. So, um, Feasters on Teasters was a great restaurant. Um, it is kind of hard to find and I think that's why it's not as popular yet and word's not really gotten out about it because it's not right there on the strip and just has that big sign and I think maybe they should put a larger sign up because it is pretty hard to find. So if you're coming from Sevierville to Pigeon Forge, you want to take the left on Teaster Lane and then it is going to be your first left off of Teaster Lane. It is actually in with the Biblical Times Theater. So it is located in this building. So that's what's kind of confusing to people, I think. And that may be hindering people from going or people from trying this place. So that is where you will find Feasters on Teasters. And, um... Teaster Lane used to be a great back road, but I want to warn you, if you think you're going to go there and make some time up and get out of traffic, not anymore. Everybody knows about these great back roads now, and there's literally no time-saving back roads in the Great Smoky Mountains anymore. So, just giving you that heads up. And, um, Feasters on Teasters. When, as soon as you go in, they're going to seat you and they're going to bring you some bread out. They have a great selection of bread. You're going to get regular butter, fruit butter, and honey butter. All three were great in my opinion. I tried them all. I suggest you try a little bit of all the bread, all the butter. You can't go wrong if you love bread. I love bread, so I loved it all. Um, the next thing they're going to bring is fried okra and um, homemade chips. These are my favorite thing by far. I think that I've had there both times. <laughs> and that's not to knock off on any of their other food, but these are so good. And um, all this is uh, complimentary with every meal. So um, you don't have to pay any extra for your bread, chips, and fried okra. With the um, homemade chips, I would suggest to get you a side of ranch and eat with your chips. Amazing. Like I said, my favorite thing, I could have made a meal of just that. Then my husband had the prime rib. He said it was cooked to perfection, couldn't have been better. All his food was great. I had the ribeye. Um, it was cooked exactly how I like it. It was so tender. Uh, you didn't even need steak sauce with these steaks. They do serve Omaha steaks, Omaha burgers, um, a little bit of everything. They have a great menu. A lot of options uh, at the end of this video I'm gonna have another video showing you their menu the food we got um, our bill the outside of the building and actually how to get there because it as I said it is a little confusing and once you get to the biblical times theater you're gonna go through that door and it's gonna be a long hallway this is shown in the video at the end and then you're gonna take the right and that is feasters on teasters a little confusing and like I said this could be why they're not very busy but that's just to help you guys out so you know where it is and um, both times we've been here there's been absolutely no wait for the Smoky Mountain Oz what is it buddy what do you see what's wrong mm. say hi to everybody 
Can you say hi? Say hi. But for the Smoky Mountains on a Saturday night, um, no wait. You cannot go wrong there. Because normally in the Smoky Mountains, you are going to wait two hours to get into a restaurant on a Saturday night. This is just a heads up. Especially right now, it is just crazy madness right now. Uh, as we were leaving, the traffic was insane. I'm actually going to put another video up later on in the week showing you how bad this traffic was. It was crazy. Yeah, say crazy. So anyway, um, that's all I have for today. I just wanted to do this review. I probably didn't do it justice. I'm not the best. I just want to... What you doing? You dancing? But I just want to let you know some of these great places in the Smoky Mountains to go. So stay tuned and we will have the menu, our food, and the bill at the end right here. But we thank you for watching. If you like our channel, subscribe to our channel, uh, give us thumbs up, like our videos, share our videos, and we just want to thank all of our subscribers. Today I think we hit 333 subscribers. We are so blessed. And we just appreciate all of you. And we are so excited about this channel. Aren't we, Oz? So we're excited about this channel. Say so bye-bye. Say so see you next time. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Didn't I do the ribbon last Thank you.